Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Franklin and you might be wondering what's on your screen. Well, it's PK Hex. Congrats, surprise. You probably have known by now that I've used PK Hex as an educational and reliable tool in regards to using Pokemon for giveaways. I'm not doing this for malicious intent, so please YouTube do not strike me down in the event that you see my videos or I'm gonna have a problem. But anyways, there's two things I'm gonna talk about briefly. One, I use Pika Hex. I think I think it's been pretty obvious from my giveaways how I get all these Pokemon. Like, come on, let's use our brains here for a minute. Like, you know where they come from. Let's not act all. <gasps> oh my God, you are, you are the second coming of the Rapture. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. I'm pretty openly honest about how I use Pika Hex and all that stuff. I just love giving out Pokemon to people. If you have a problem with it, then this video is not for you. Second of all, I'm not gonna show you guys how to edit your save file from using a custom firmware on your Nintendo Switch, meaning how do you install how to install custom firmware on your Nintendo Switch all the way up to getting whatever Pokemon you want using PHEX on your save file because I could get stricken down. Now two years ago, in case you guys haven't known about this, which I'm pretty sure I've told this a few times already, but I actually did get a community warning from YouTube. So if I do something like that ever again, I might get stricken down one time and if I get three strikes, I'm out YouTube. We get sent to the Shadow Realm, and I can never get my channel back. So I'm not. Don't don't complain like, oh my God, you don't show how to use Pig Hex properly. How do you get the save file onto Pig Hex? I'm not doing that. All right, so let's get that out of the way. Um, let's get right to it. So, topic of the video of today is going to be how to avoid the clone ban that happens in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl with the newest update in regards to the wonderful increased size of the trade union room as well as the GWS. Um, Pokemon themselves decided to stop all the glitches from the menu glitch which included cloning items, cloning Pokemon, yada yada yada. Uh, they essentially banned clone items and Pokemon. I'm not sure about the items which is pretty hard to track that down but um, they for sure banned clone Pokemon. So if you trade, let's say you have for example six Arceus's and they're exactly the identical. You got them from whether from Pika Hex or from the clone glitch abuse in game. Um, if you like, for example, tr trade this Arceus here, then the rest of the Arceus are invalid because they share the exact same data. Now you might be wondering, well, what's a clone? A clone for me personally is essentially two Pokemon that have the exact same attributes, the exact same data codes the exact same nature exact same everything literally everything including the data that's not seen in game such as the PID or the encryption constant which we're gonna go over um, pretty soon so how do you know if you're a Pika Hex user like me who loves to do giveaways how do you know if there's a certain Pokemon that was cloned that's been flagged by the game as a glitch abuse so I'll show you guys for example um, and I'll show you guys what a clone is. For example, let's say we have this Chimchar here, and Chimchar, I'm gonna put it right here with the legality uh, checker. It says it's okay. If I do this, if I drag this, I drag this, and I drag this, these are all clones because they have the exact same data. They come from the same original data source. Now, if I was to boot up my game and I was to trade this Chimchar, this Chimchar will go through, but these two will not be able to be traded because the game is going to get flagged, or these two are going to get flagged as untradeable because they are cloned. Clones from either Pika Hex or from the in-menu game glitch abuse, which everyone knows what that is, you know, from all the videos that have been spiraling out since the beginning of this game's inception. Now, for Pika Hex users like me, there might be certain Pokemon that actually do get the warning. For example, let's check this Cresselia out. I know it's shiny. It's not supposed to be shiny, so stop complaining and all that stuff. So if I go over here, legality checker, there's going to be a red triangle with a white exclamation point. It's going to say the game flagged it as illegal by the game. Glitch abuse, meaning it was cloned. That's how we, the Pikahex users, will find out whether or not these Pokemon are good for trading online or not. Now, let's make clones that are legal. All right. So now, this is the real stuff here. 
I got a full box of shiny Arceus's. As a matter of fact, I have about 12 boxes of shiny Arceus's. And you might be wondering, well, how are you able to trade those if there's a clone ban in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? No worries. Let's make one from scratch to make it legal as hell. All right, so let's go to tools. We're going to data. We're going to go to encounter database. And we're going for the species here. If you guys can see that. We're going to put Arceus. You can spell it right. You have to spell the Pokemon's name right. It'll pop up here. Hit the search button. And you're going to see uh, a lot of Arceus's. If you hover over each Arceus, you can see the game version. This one's from Soul Silver. Uh, this one's from Alpha Sapphire. This one's from Gen 7. This one is from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Obviously, that's not going to work in this save file because this save file is Brilliant Diamond. So we're going to hover over the latest two Arceus's that came out, and they're both from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I'm going to choose Brilliant Diamond because why not? So we're going to click View, and now we're going to have the Arceus here in our legality checker saying, Legal! You want to make it shiny? Just hover over this star right here. Voila! Perfect! Dramatic! There you go. It's legal. Shiny legal. But if you're a person who is very versed in Pika Hex and you know about the clone ban in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, you know that you just simply cannot just drag each and every Arceus into the box here. Otherwise, the first Arceus will be get will be able to get traded, but the second one is not gonna be able to get traded as well as the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and the the next number amount that you cloned. Remember, a clone is a Pokemon that share the same original data source. Now, how do you make each Pokemon unique? Which is very helpful in determining um, in making Pokemon not get detected. So, let's do it. Now, there is a very unique and cool tool here. In the, under the data folder of tools, it's called Batch Editor. Now, what's a Batch Editor? A Batch Editor allows you to edit multiple Pokemon in a single save file. It, you can edit their natures, depending on the range of what natures you want. You can edit the shininess of a Pokemon, or shiny or not, I should say. You can edit the personal ID of the Pokemon, the encryption constant, which is essentially the data source that says hey this Pokemon this is like the quote-unquote ID like the data code of a Pokemon itself uh, correct me if I'm wrong I'm not too familiar with this kind of stuff but essentially as long as you change the ID of a Pokemon and both Pokemon or one or more Pokemon do not share those IDs or those attributes you're in the clear so we got the batch editor open and what I like to do is Sometimes when I'm lost, sometimes when I'm just an idiot, I like to just Google this kind of stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over here to the PK Hex website. I Googled Batch Editor PK Hex because I was a moron and I didn't know what the hell a Batch Editor was until my good old friend Larry showed me how to use it. So in here, the creator, Kefonix, shout outs to him, uh, gives us a very interesting tutorial of how to use the Batch Editor. And it's very useful in the end. It's very, very good. So operators the period is essentially when you start inputting the command sets the desired value equal to the value you input that means if this is this then this will be this equal narrows the editing pokemon down to the same value as your import value that's not really important here because we're just going to do the periods um the period is what we want all right now here there are special tricks and there's three of them that are going to be very helpful Randomizing the PID because again, no two clones can have the same PID. You're also going to randomize the encryption constant, which again is another attribute, which is the data source of the Pokemon. That has to be randomized as well to avoid the game flagging your clones as illegal. And last but not least, the PID is going to equal to shiny. Why is that? Well, see, the thing is, let's pull up the batch editor real quick. A batch editor first command we're gonna do is we're gonna put period PID equals uh, dollar sign random 
This will ensure every single Pokemon in the save file are going to be random. All right. Uh, now, I don't really care about my save file at this point. So this is just for educational purposes. If you want to narrow down the specific Pokemon, you kind of have to learn more and more about that. I'm just editing my entire file because this is just a throwaway file. So this command here is going to say, hey, the PID of every single Pokemon is going to be completely random. No two Pokemon will have the same PID. All right. With that, the PID is also going to equal to them being shiny. This will ensure that every single Pokemon with a random PID is going to be shiny. Now, why is that important? It's important because if you just randomize the PID, it will lose its uh, shiny PID. Meaning that if you randomize the PID, none of your Pokemon are going to be shiny. I guarantee it. It's not gonna ha it's not gonna work because a shiny Pokemon has a specific PID. You see this little PID of this Arceus that I just made shiny not that long ago. That's a PID of it be shiny. However, if I randomize the PID and make all the PIDs shiny, then they're not only they're gonna be different PIDs, they're also gonna be shiny Pokemon. So that's cool. Last but not least, we're gonna do um, say in Crip. I don't know how to say it. encryption constant. The period, of course, period encryption constant equals dollar sign random. All right. Those are the three codes you're going to use or three commands you're going to use to ensure you have maximum um, legal Pokemon you can use in, in, in uh, clones. So we're going to run it. Modified 960 out of 991 files, which essentially is trying to say all the Pokemon in your goddamn folder or in your save file has been modified. And once you do that, you close it. Now, let's take this Arceus and we're going to put it right here in the legality checker. The PID changed as you guys saw that, so we're going to scroll over more Arceuses. Yep. Each one has a very specific, now pay attention to the PID, it's changing. All of them have a different PID. That's check mark number one, if you did a good job. The second one, if you want to actually check it out, um, you're going to go to the OT slash miscellaneous stuff, the encryption constants right here, if you want to see how it uh, gets uh, changes. That works too. And then last but not least, visualizing or actually seeing the Pokemon shiny, which obviously is shiny Arceus is yellow, is guaranteeing that now these clones, quote unquote clones, will not get flagged by a brilliant diamond and shining pearl in game checkers. So that's it. For those of you who use Pika Hex, this is the easiest way. My only problem is, and I don't, like I said, this is something new to me, this is something that I learn uh, how to use, but if you use batch editor all your Pokemon are going to get affected which is why all these Pokemon you see here are shiny as well um, there should be a specific range of what Pokemon you want to like randomize shiny and all that kind of stuff um, but other than that like I said this is the easiest way you can get shiny clones without getting caught in the game so that does it simple tutorial right uh, like I said in the beginning, I'm not going to show you how to get your save file into PK Hex because I could get stricken down, so I'm not going to repeat myself. And number two, I don't really care about your view on PK Hex or Gen Pokemon or legal slash legitimate Pokemon because I'm pretty sure if you participate in other people's giveaways, good chance their Pokemon are not legitimate. So there's that. Anyways, guys, it's your boy Franklin signing out. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. See you guys on the next live stream. Peace.